Discerning Hearts presents How to Pray, A Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life by David Torkington. Chapter 12, Prayer and Petition, Intercessio, Intercession. Prayer is the raising of one's mind and heart to God, or the requesting of good things from God. St. John Damascene. Most of our actions are limited by the world of space and time in which we live, but prayer is not. It takes us into another dimension where the laws of space and time no longer apply. That other dimension is Christ, who is not only the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end of all space and time, but present in every moment of it, and to everyone simultaneously. When prayer raises us up out of our world and into his, it enables us to be united with all who are in him, whether they lived in the past, the present, or the future. This is why there's no such thing as private prayer in Christian tradition, even though the people praying may be totally alone in their own home, in the local church, or in the furthest reaches of the most distant desert. They are united with all who are in the family of Christ, with Mary, Magdalene, with Peter and Paul, with Benedict and Bernard, Francis and Ignatius, Catherine and Teresa. This is why the sincere prayer of the least of us is powerful far beyond our own personal spiritual resources alone. All my immediate family are dead now, but I try to remember them each day. I try to pray for others, too, who've asked me to pray for them, and whom I might otherwise forget, despite the promise that I made at the time. There is a wider world, too, that needs our prayers, but rarely ask for them. The daily newspapers and even the news on television or the radio can be used as an aid to prayer. When we hear about those whose suffering make us feel so helpless, remember them at the time we set aside for prayer. Now, just as you're unable to give to every good cause, you cannot pray for every good cause either, at least by name. So it is often a good thing to adopt one or two that have a special meaning for you. Although praying for others may seem to be the poor cousin of other spiritual exercises that appear more attractive, it is certainly not the case. For in praying for others, we not only forget ourselves, but we also open ourselves to receive, for it is in giving that we receive, even without us realizing it. The seventh letter of our memory jog for prayer, then, parousia, is the letter I, to remind us to intercede for those who have a right to our daily prayers. Lord, as I pray for my family by name, help me to picture them in my imagination so that my prayer can be more personal and directed to their individual needs. Let me pray for my friends, too, and for those who have particularly annoyed me during the day, and even for my enemies, as Christ commanded us. Finally, God, help those poor, deprived, and suffering people whom I have heard about in the news today, You have given me so much. Help me always to remember them in my prayers and to do what I can for them whenever the opportunity arises. You've been listening to David Torkington on How to Pray, A Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life. For more episodes in this series, visit DiscerningHearts.com, or you can find it in our free Discerning Hearts app, or on many other streaming platforms.